Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Rachel and this channel is all about beauty. Um, I hope you guys will subscribe and push that notification down below so you are notified of every time I upload a video. So in today's video, we are going to be um, doing another ABH series and I do believe this is a number five five or six um, and I'm going to be using the ABH Rivera palette um, this and this is what it looks like it has very nice very bright colors um, reminds me of a summer palettes um, but if you don't already know I did start a a um, series using all of the Anastasia Beverly, Beverly Hills palettes that I personally own. Um, so if you are wanting to know what kind of makeup look we end up with today, go ahead and keep on watching. I'm going to be using the NYX um, Proof It Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer to prime my eyelids. Okay, so I'm going to be go ahead and jump it into the palette and I'm going to be picking up this brush here. Um, it is an airbrush blending crease. I'm not really sure. It's really old. Um, it's from It Cosmetics from Ulta. And I'm going to be going in with Estate, which is this color here and putting that right into my crease. And then going in, I'm going to be taking, with the same brush, I'm going to go in with this here, which is called Monte Carlo. And I'm also going to be putting that into the crease uh, right on top of that bone color shade we put down. So just like that, and we are going to be cutting our crease. I'm going to go in with this brush, which is an ultimate face brush, and I'm going to be going in with some concealer. Today's concealer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer. I'm just going to be putting that right on the back of my hand like so. And we are just going to cut up to about here of our crease. Okay, so that is what you should be looking like on creasing your lid for this makeup look. Um, the next thing I'm going to be going in is with Bahamas, which is this nice pink color here. I'm going to be putting that in the inner and outer corner of our eyes. I'm going to be going in with this brush here, which is a Moda, and it's of a pencil brush, but it's more flexible. It's not as stiff. So picking up some of Bahamas, like I said, inner and outer corner of um, our eye. And I am just starting as in a padding motion.
up to about there on this inner corner. And again, just patting it. Just because it's a pink color, you know, we don't want it to be too transparent. We want it to be as bold as we can. And get it. And then going in to the inner corner. And again, same padding motion. I'm just padding it down just so we can get the most color there. Okay, this is what it should be looking. Whatever's on my brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into the crease. Like that. Going back in with this brush here, we are going to blend out just this top part. Nothing too crazy. Something like that. And then going in with this brush here, which is a BH Cosmetics brush, the number eight brush. It's just a real nice flat one. I'm going to be going in with Inheritance, which is that nice pretty gold color here. Putting that right into the center of our eyelids where we left bare. And I am going to be um, spraying um, on my brush with some of the Wet n Wild Coconut Spray. And then going back in with that pink, pink, the brush we use for the pink. Just gonna slightly um, blend out those edges of the gold and the pink there. Okay guys, so that is one eye down. That is what it should start looking like it. I know it's winter, it's in the winter time, but you know, don't limit yourself to just using winter colors. You can use bright colors all year round. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out. 
All right, so I'm gonna do the other eye and then we will move on. While my lash glue is drying, I'm going to go ahead and prep my skin and I'm going to start off by spraying some of this um, Smash Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer Water. And then as well as some Milk Hydro um, Grip Primer. And some elf putty primer and I'm gonna go in with the elf primer first I am putting this mostly on my t-zone above the lip and chin area and forehead. And then I will be going in oh, with the Milk Hydro Primer everywhere else. I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes. So this is what they looks like. I picked these lashes because I still want you to be able to see the eye makeup, you know, without having so dramatic eyelashes on. So let's move on. Let's go ahead and put um, the rest of the milk and I'm just using, I did about one and a half pumps. Just warming that in between my fingers. We're going to put that on the rest of our face. Okay, and while that is a setting into my face, I'm going to go ahead and let's see. I need to get started on the rest of our face. So I'm going to be going in uh, with the Pixie Color Correcting um, Brightening Peach. Um, I don't know if you guys know that I've been loving to do this. I'm using the JH08 um, brush. It's just a really nice dome brush and I just stick it in here like so and then I just will start putting it all over.
And I like to do this around the dark areas of my face, so around my nose, under my eyes, my upper lip. And going in with a foundation, I am going to be going in with the, what is this, uh, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, the Dewy and Smooth in 315, which is Soft Honey. I'm hoping that this color matches me. If not, we will just work with what we have. I'm just going to be... Dotting this all over my face. And in with the Real Techniques brush um, sponge today, and I'm just going to start blending that out. I haven't used this foundation in a while so cannot remember if I liked it or not I'm going to go ahead and move on with um, concealer and I'm going in with the elf um, 16 hour camel concealer and I have my in tan sand again this is one that I haven't used in a while I can tell you right off the bat I do not like the smell it smells like straight up paint so we will see I'm going to go in with the pointy side of my little techniques And I am so sorry about lighting, guys. Um, there's nothing I can do. I am using the natural lighting, so I'm sorry about that. I am going to be going in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Loose Setting Powder. This is my absolute favorite powder. Just with putting some right on the tip, I'm just going to be setting that right under my eye little at a time going in with um bronzer actually let's go ahead and finish up the lower lash line I'm also going to be setting my eyebrows and to set my eyebrows I am going in with Essence Make Me Brow in the color um, a brownie browns brownie brows which Okay, so for lower lash line, I am going to be going in with um, this color here, which is called Seychelles, which is this nice boob color here. I'm going to be putting that right onto the lower lash line, and I am going to be using this uh, dual end. It does come, into, uh, come in with the palettes. I'm going to be using this more dome flat brush. I'm going to be picking some of that up. And I'm just going to be tapping it again. I'm 
with this brush here. I'm going to be picking up some of that estate color just to um, blend it out a tad bit. So just like that. Again, going back in because I wanted it a little bit more tense. I am going to be spraying my brush and I'm going to be just like that. Okay, so that is what um, the lower lash line is looking like. I'm going to add some of the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Prats, which is this nice blue color. For bronzer and blush, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Cheek Leaders Pink Squad Palette. And I am going to be using um, Hula and a little bit of Dallas combined together as my bronzer. And I'm going to be going in with this Ulta Beauty um, blush brush, but I do like it for um, contour for my... Then I'll be taking a smaller brush and I'm going to go in with this brush here, which is a Moda brush, picking up some of Hula only. And I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a contour with my nose. Nothing too crazy. So just like that. And then going in with this little brush that it comes with, I'm going to be picking up some of just Dallas. Just to kind of bronze that part up a little bit. So just like that. And then going in with this side here, picking up some of that powder, I am going to be just chiseling that out. Nothing too crazy, like I said. I don't really like crazy too much. And then I'm going to just kind of blend that out like that. And then for blush, again, I am going to be going in, um, let's see what brush we got here, um, I'm going to go in with this, um, Royal and, um, Nickel Dew Fiber brush, and I'm going to be picking up some of Dandelion, which is this nice color here for blush.
So just like that. Just a little bit of color, nothing too crazy. So just like that. And then for um, a highlight, I'm going to be going in with a CoverGirl a True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow um, Highlight in Pearl Crush. Let's open it up. This is what it looks like. It's just a really nice gold color. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this brush here, which is from Morphe. It's just a nice fluffy brush. I'm just going to be picking some of that up and putting on as highlight. Oh wow, do you guys see that? Just beautiful. And then Like a new joke, like that. For what, like five, seven dollars? Not maybe not even that. These highlighters are amazing. And if I had to tell you guys to pick one thing out of everything I've shown you today, I would say to get the highlighter. You can never go wrong with a good highlighter. Never. Okay. So for lips okay so I'm going to add some mascara to the bottom lashes and the top lashes just to kind of um, my real lashes with these uh, fake ones which, I mean, I, you can tell that you don't even need it, but you can never go wrong. I'm also going to be putting a little bit of that highlighter into the inner corner of my eye, and I'm going to be using this Amoda brush right here, just picking some up. I'm putting it right into the inner corner there as a highlight, an inner corner highlight. As well, a little bit on the under these brow bones here. Nothing. Too crazy. So just like that. Oh, we are just glowing today. Okay. I think we got it, guys. So for lips, the last but not least of things, I am going to be going in with the NYX Lip Liner in Nutmeg, and I'm going to be lining and filling my lips in with this. Like that, I wanted to keep the the lips um, as nude as possible, just because we do have a nice bold lip. 
To top that off, I am going in with the Fenty Beauty um, a lip gloss in Fenty Glow. Let's go ahead and set the face. I'm again going to go in with a Wet n Wild Coconut um, a Primer Water. That is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this tutorial and following along. If you did uh, follow along or if you re-create um, um, uh, this look, go ahead and make sure to tag me over on Instagram. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching. See you guys later. Bye.